Hmm. You know, when I'm arguing with my husband, I'm like, you always don't, you never. I'm like, does he really always don't do what you say? I thought like I was a whole round holistic person, you know, ready to take over the world, <laughs> do what is needed. I thought I was okay. How can I call it? Like resentment and things like that, like en uh, negative energy. And I discovered my children, my husband, my colleagues, my friends, all of them were also experiencing the same. I was oozing the same kind of energy to them. I was like, oh yeah. So now having a different kind of, you know, energy now, I'm like, and I think one of my other highlights is something that is coming up, which we'll be telling you about. Yes. No, I have, I have, I have, I have reorganized my thoughts. Let me, let me, let's start again. Um, I think for me it's been a journey and to understand that there are places where you have to be whole. Like you have to be whole from the from your head, you know, to the crown of uh, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I think for me, one of the things I remember in the season, or rather, what really made me, you know, like I was like Sela huh? in the season was when Sela said, "How comes you keep saying you always, you know, you are ever saying to your husband you always, you are ever, you are ever, you know?" I think for me, I was like, mm. you know, when I'm arguing with my husband, I'm like, "You always don't, you never." I'm like, "Does he really always don't do what you say?" Or does he never actually, you know, like take you out on a date? I mean, there are times, there are highs, there are lows. Do you actually remember the highs or do you always focus on the lows? And I was like, mm, that's actually a mind changer. Nowadays, I'm changing how I'm, um, you know, like how I'm seeing my husband or when he does something, I'm like, okay, he's actually done this because he's human. Like, I have to extend grace. I can't always really say you never, you always, you know. Those words are not good to use in your marriage. I think that thing was for me was the episode about reconciling with God. I think for me, I have seen that. You know, I've seen it evident in my life and I for sure can say that I have really, 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 you know, re be redeemed back to, to God. Yeah, I think those are the two highlights I'll speak about that, the season. And I think I'm much better than we started. And I'm so happy to have, you know, share this together with you guys. Yeah. So when I think about season three, and as we were talking about healing throughout the season at different levels, I think my highlight is now what I understand healing to be today uh, when the season started or even when we were preparing for the season what I knew healing to be at that time and what I know it to be right now it's very different um, what I think healing for me what it looks like now it's first of all accepting that I need to heal um, because I don't think I was at a point where I thought I needed healing. I thought like I was a whole round holistic person, you know, ready to take over the world, <laughs> do what is needed. I thought I was okay. But now what I've understood is that I am not, when I look at myself and when I reflect to my younger days, um, my past life, I think I've had to accept the fact that I need to heal from a lot of things so that I'm able to move forward. Because I've come to realize that I, there are things I didn't know that were hindering me from progressing in life unless I reflected, unless I made a decision that I need to heal from them. So what healing looks now for me is what has been the difference, just the learning about it, that has been the difference for me and rather my highlight. And I think one of my other highlights is something that is coming up, which we'll be telling you about, yes. I think it's because you cannot pour from an empty cup. Yeah. If you want to share life, you have to share life from a healed person. Like you have to pour to another person when you yourself already understand that I'm in a better place in life. So for me, healing is important because we interact with the people all around the circle, like any place you go with. And I discovered from my experience last year, I was breeding a lot of, you know, like a lot of heart, a lot of, you know, a lot of how can I call it, like resentment and things like that, like en uh, negative energy. And I discovered my children, my husband, my colleagues, my friends, all of them were also experiencing the same. I was oozing the same kind of energy to them. I was like, oh yeah. So now having a different kind of, you know, energy now, I'm like, I like it now. Like, I, like it's a wholesome, like all, all around me, my spiritual, my spiritual life, my mental, my everything is just okay. Not really a hundred percent, but you are somewhere. So I'm like, I can, you know, I can talk to my husband without shouting at him. I can talk to my child without beating her. 
Because yeah, because I'm a bit better now. So I think that's why healing is important and anyone should receive that. Um, that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm, I think healing is important because it's one thing that I think also God desires for each and every person to be just holistic beings, to be um, people that are functional. Because healing is a process that makes you to function, I think, holistically, both mind, heart, soul, you know, is all working properly. So I think it's important because God desires that of us to experience healing, especially from Him, not even especially, to just experience, to experience healing from Him and in whatever shape or form that it comes. Because when, when we talk about healing, there's of course some things you'll have gone through like the mud, the pain, the heart and everything. And I think, yeah, because what life brings and throws to us, it's so much. So I don't think God would want for us to remain in our heart, in our hurting, in our pains, in uh, our struggles and just leave the same person or a worse person. I think it's important because God desires that of us. He desires that we grow. I think one of the scriptures says that uh, that you may prosper as you I think soul prospers. Yes. So I think it's really important for us to heal because God desires that of us. Yes. And I think it's a good place to be at, a healed person. It's a journey you, you it's not a destiny. I don't believe it's a destination. It's a journey that you walk with God. So it's a day to day step that is produces a better person each and every day. Yep. <laughs> uh huh. What will it be? Kuna dawa, kuna dawa. I think that. Dawa ni Yesu. I think that will be the. I think that will be the theme song for me. If healing. <laughs> that was a random question, but yeah, I think that will be my song. Kuna dawa, kuna dawa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting question. If my healing journey come to think about it, what would it be theme song? Mm, let's see. I don't know, as funny as it might sound, this song, I don't know if you know this song. If you're an OG, am I if you are this is for the millennials. <laughs> I don't know Jen this know this one. I'm trying to remember the name of the artist, but she sang, she said, Mungu wangu, we wajua sababu. <laughs> Kwa nini? I think when I think about healing, <laughs> that's the song that would come to mind because God is the one that knows why you go through the things that we go through in this life. And he has the ultimate solution to it, which is for us to be a healed person or one person. As the solution is for us to be, to have a healed mind, a healed heart. So I think that's what I think about. I mean, when I just look at the things that life has thrown at me, um a bit of you know people hurting you even when they don't know and it's part of life i mean you can't blame it on yourself and maybe sometimes you can't even blame others so you're left with you're left asking yourself questions like why god why me and you know so i think that's a song that would represent <laughs> look for it on youtube but i'm trying to remember what's the name of the singer who sang that song you know her I don't know, but I'm trying to remember. But yeah, Mungu wangu. Ni God tu anajua sababu. Yeah. So that's. Whew, yeah, that's healing. That's healing for me. So. Oh yeah, as I mentioned, the highlight for back. Let's let's go back to question one. When I think, I mean, sorry. When I think about a highlight for this season, is the fact that we are choosing to step out in faith and do something very big at the end of the season. Now, as you know, it is tradition for us here at the Sound Girl Pod. As we are ending a season, we don't end it just like that and say bye. It's the end of season this, and we are looking forward to seeing you in season next. We end it with a bang. We end it in style. And this time, we have something big prepared for you. And oof, it's very scary, but very exciting at the same time. And I cannot wait to share the details with you. And I cannot do it alone. I can't share these details with you alone. So just hold up. Let me invite my friend, the co-host, co-partner of this podcast, Jewel. Just hold, just stay tuned. Out of Sisonga, don't even touch the remote. Let me just, let me just call her. Just, just chill. 
All right, Jewel, mm -hmm. come, 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 come. We mm -hmm. tell these people mm -hmm. because we are keeping them so suspense. Suspense. Sus suspense. Suspense. Yeah. <laughs> With suspense. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we have told you guys about um, the season Max. and what it's been like. Um, this <laughs> is season three. We are finally closing it up. Yeah. Woo! No, 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 it's no. It's been Max. a long time coming. Uh huh. Max, go away. Go, Max. Don't lumber me. Uh -uh. <laughs> so, we have talked about how season three has been and we can't wait to close it down. Yeah. And we are closing it down in style, Yay. just like we did in season two. two. Yeah. Season two, we did a singing episode. Yeah. Our wow. One of people's favorites in season two. Yes. And now, season mm -hmm. three, we are closing it down mm -hmm. with drum roll. With a what? A live experience. <laughs> we are so excited. Okay, I'm not excited. I'm scared. <laughs> I know you're excited. <laughs> Excited okay. that we are finally doing yeah. this. It's been a long time coming. Um, we have it's it's a step of faith. Yeah, kind for of sure. Thing. Yeah. I don't think we had imagined ourselves doing a live event. So but when here is we it are. going to be? Here we are. So on the seventeenth of August, mm -hmm. twenty twenty-four, from mm -hmm. eleven to one p.m. Mm -hmm. at Elroy Hub. Mm -hmm. Where we is Elroy? Have of Kiambu Road. So if you know Spa. In a sound, in a sound, in a sound. Eh? Mahaliko, outside the outskirts of Nairobi. Elroy, Elroy. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh so it's uh on Kiambu Road. Mm -hmm. If you know Golden Spa, yeah. Yes. That's where it is. Just mm -hmm. like that's Golden Spa. Yeah. All the details will be on the description box. Yeah. We have been talking about this on our social media platforms where you can follow us on Instagram, yeah. TikTok. Um tickets are only going for, for Two thousand shillings. But watch out. You <laughs> might be having a flash sale <laughs> next week. Mm -hmm. So just be prepared. Mm -hmm. We might decide to be good girls mm -hmm. and give you a discount. So be prepared for the same. But please buy your tickets. We are only having 25 people. Yeah. Uh, so far, a few tickets have already been sold. Yeah. And we are looking to finish off. So yeah. So don't be left out. It's going to be an amazing experience. Yeah. Where we're just coming together as an intimate group of people just to talk about healing, what it looks like to us. Uh, what are you healing from? What has yeah. been your pain and your heart? Yeah. And we just talk it all out and pray it up yeah and also hear your highlights for season three what made yes. season three you know impactful to you mm -hmm. very looking forward to, like we'll have an engaging session like mm -hmm. an engaging uh, experience not yes. only from our side we also want to hear from you what is your highlight for season three i think yes. we have a few and we mentioned a few so yeah Absolutely. so we're looking forward to having all of you guys mm -hmm. on board please, please. <laughs> Instagram to name my guys tickets are almost getting sold out tickets are almost being tickets are almost please guys just buy, it's just 2000 shillings yeah. it cannot buy you a house but it can buy you at, uh, it can help you start your journey yeah, towards, towards healing, healing. Yeah, so. their ending journey called healing we look yeah. forward to seeing you there 17th yeah. August see you is. bye